Uh, one of the products we use is this new Energent unit. Uh, this actually comes with a solar panel if, as an option uh, that, that it does work very efficiently. Uh, these are 96% efficiency, the highest EER rating of any equipment made, uh, the highest efficiency of any equipment made. Uh, they are, they're just an absolutely great unit. We've been using them for uh, that particular one just came out a year ago. We were using the predecessor to it for about uh, the last, I've used it for about the last 15 years. So. Then green buildings. Uh, and I'll coin a term that we started called green stewardship. Uh, so our definition is that to be green, it's got to not only you know, save energy, be good on our earth, but it's also uh, got to be good stewardship. So if we're you know, spending $100,000 for something that you're going to save $10 a month, that's not good stewardship. You know, it might be good for the earth or it might be good for something else. A uh, project down in Dallas won the best award last year in the AIA for green buildings, a school over there, a grade school. And they spent about a million and a half dollars to trap all of the water that hit the roof in the parking lots. Then they cleaned all of that and put it back through the gray water in the urinals and toilets throughout the building. And, and the whole system that they used on that, uh, uh, it cost about a million and a half dollars. It saves them about $200 a month, you know, so $2,400. You know, and only the government can spend a million and a half dollars to save 2400 I mean, they're, they're, they're really the only ones I know that know how to do that. But it didn't meet any of our requirements. It was not good stewardship. It took water that would have generally drained where it was supposed to go, which is back in the earth and be filtered down and, and go where it was meant to go from when it rained. So it wasn't good on the environment from our standpoint. And now it took it to the sewer plant, which is an environmental hazard. And, and so it didn't meet any of the standards that we were trying to work with. Uh, we use products like Cortec, uh, our windows, uh, cool roofing. Uh, we've got about 40 different things that we do on these buildings to reduce your costs of energy. Every product that we use that has to do with any kind of energy or longevity or maintenance, we look at their cost over a 25 year period of time. What did it cost to buy, maintain, pay utilities? That's how much it is. This product over here, buy, maintain, utilities. I like this one better. And it might be that it was all in maintenance and utilities. We pay more for the product today less cost down the road, and, and that's how we approach that. Uh, we seek to hit a 50% utility savings over your other way of doing it. Uh, I've got a school that we did over in, uh, in Ogden uh, back in 2002 at the Winter Olympics, and uh, it was a high school, uh, about 60,000 square feet, Christian high school, and uh, I put in these Cortec panels, I put in the Lennox high efficiency units, and we built this building. We had to build this building in, in five months, and it was 60,000 square feet, and so you can tell we were moving. And we moved a little bit too fast. We got the building done, but the utility company couldn't get the gas line into us in that period of time. So we talked the city into uh, that the weather was still good, and we'd have the gas line in November. and and we put in some electric water heaters for our hot water for washing your hands and said, we really don't need any heat, we're, we're gonna be fine. And they let us have occupancy. And then the utility company drug their feet and eventually got the, land, the line in there the end of January. And if you've been anywhere near our country in the winter time, it uh, does still get cold. But the kids never knew it. And, and, uh, and we didn't know it was gonna perform as well as it performed. The kids would heat up the building during the day enough that it was still still warm when they got there the next morning and it held it that well. Uh, today, that 60,000 square foot building has gas bills, which is our heating side of it, of around $150 a month in the winter time. <laughs> and, and, and it's just the way the building was built. And, and that's just an importance of, of what you're trying to do. So uh, we want to get a 60% savings in maintenance costs. Uh, we do that with some of the 
different products we have. Uh, Tajima, which is a vinyl flooring that's 100% vinyl. Uh, vinyl flooring itself that you get, uh, like at Home Depot, is, is about 1% vinyl. You can pick up one of those and bend it and it's going to crack in half. You can take the tile that we use and you can tie it in a knot. It's that flexible. But more importantly, never needs waxing, ever. And so you, you get rid of that look. You're always looking clean. It's always looking nice. And, there, and, if, and it also emits a, something that kills all the bacteria and stuff that hits it when it hits the floor. So by the way, our heating systems have all got products in it that clean the air and take out every virus while the air is going through the system.